So in this picture is the crater Gassandi and Gassandi A, which is the smaller crater down to the bottom left. Um, this was done on November 8th, 2018 from 9.11 p.m. to 10.09 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the temperature was around 25 to 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, this was during an 85% moon. It started off partly cloudy with high thin clouds, uh, not too intrusive for lunar observation. And as time went on, the, cloud, the uh, clouds cleared. Uh, this was done with my 8-inch SCT with a Vixen 24 to 8 millimeter uh, zoom eyepiece. It was set at 8 millimeter, and I used a 2x Barlow and a moon filter just to cut down the lighting. Overall transparency was probably about a 2 out of 5, and seeing was also about a 2 out of 5. And in this sketch, I used a 2b, a 6b pencil, and I used a blending tool and an eraser. So let's get on to the sketch here. So I'm going to start off just lightly outlining the moon crater and kind of marking off where the shadows are. And I use the 2B pencil for this. Just lightly going back and forth between the eyepiece and drawing. Um, this is only the second moon crater I've ever drawn. So, I mean, it's I'm still a little rough with this. Uh, hopefully as time goes on, I'll get better. Uh, you can see I starting to do the eastern edge. Um, north is towards the small crater and west is towards the bottom of this image. Marking off the shadows. You gotta do that early on because it changes pretty quickly as you're, as you're um, sketching. You'd be surprised how quick those shadows change. The shadows were completely different by the time I was done from the time that I started, so it was good that I marked those off first. Getting the central peaks and a couple little spots that I wanted to mark off where it was light, lighter than the rest of the crater that I didn't want to add shading to. Then I had to find my blending stump. Thought it fell on the ground, but it was in my clipboard. So there I am blending a little bit, adding a little more detail to the shadowed areas, making them a little bit darker. It's, uh, now I've got the 6B pencil out, and I'm adding a little bit of uh, shading to the crater floor. Kind of going around those areas I marked off where I wanted them to be lighter. Making a couple little changes here and there, adding a little more darkness to the shadow areas and the central peaks. Got the blending stump just to smooth it out a bit. Just blending carefully, not to over go over the lighter areas. The smaller Gassendi A crater didn't have much detail, so I didn't have to spend a lot of time with that. Now I'm just going around the edges of the outside of the crater just to kind of give it a little more depth. Tried to give it a little more depth. I didn't want to just draw the crater and have the edges all white like that, so I wanted to add a little more shading to that. So now I just got the blending stump, and I'm just going to blend in the last little bit around the outside edges here. I do hope to make more of these time-lapse sketching uh, videos, so if you enjoyed this, keep checking back for, for more videos. And I hope you enjoyed this one.